What's going on, YouTube? Three Sons RC come back after another bench video. Now, we're working with the Arma Mojave EXB today. What a beast of a truck this is, the Arma put out. Um, M2C putting out great parts out there in the community. Y'all appreciate them, right? Props to Mitch Looper over there on the team. Uh, basically, what we're working on today is we're working with the hex extenders. They're two millimeter extended, they're 17 millimeter hex bolts. They're gonna work with all the Mojave trucks. Uh, with the first generation of Mojave tires, they were made with a little bit softer plastic, uh, the red ones and the green ones. Now, with the EXB ones, the gray ones, it's a little bit harder plastic, so that does help a little bit. And also, Mojave improved the hex. They actually moved it out one millimeter. The issue was, is that what's happening is they're rubbing, this hex right here is rubbing on the hub with high friction, and, and on high torque, it's actually causing the hex to loosen on the inside and strips all this out, and then, What'll happen is tire go flying. This tremendously helps that issue, right? Now, besides these hex extenders today, we're also gonna run through a couple things real quick that you wanna make sure you do on your EXB Mojave before you run it, or really any truck. You wanna make sure you set your droop screws in there. These are ones by M2C Racing. Feel free to check those out. And they basically protect your chassis. I got a video on Three Sons RC if you wanna check that out about what is setting your droop, why it's important, and those types of things. Um, also, got these uh, pillow ball retainers by M2C Racing. Now, these are great. These uh, have like a little bit thicker rim around the top so they don't come loose. Uh, but these work a lot like that in that they use it with a lift that tightens around the edges. Uh, what I really like about this setup is the tool that you can get from M2C Racing that really helps when you're threading those in there because you can apply the pressure and it really helps with cross threading. So definitely suggest the tool if you pick these up. Another thing I'm testing out with M2C Racing is this new EXB ESC plate. Say that 10 times fast, right? Uh, but let's get going on this install, guys, and let me show you why this is important, right? Now, M2C Racing, they've added a two millimeter offset, and I'm gonna go into what that does. And Arma helped alleviate some of the issue with the one millimeter offset, but a little bit more was necessary because it is still happening a little bit. Um, so what Mitch did is, if you look closely, this is two, mil two millimeter offset. Look at the thickness of this nut here, and how this is thicker, pushes it further away from the hub, and it's much longer, so you get two sets of screws on there. Let me show you how these work. So basically these go in the back, right? If you look closely, you can see that with this hex, it's two millimeter offset, pulls it back away from the inside of the tire. So this plastic right here doesn't rub on the inside here, causing that to loosen and strip out the inside. With the M2C ones, it comes with two bolts. What you do is you tighten this one down real tight, all right? You're gonna use your tool. I'm just showing you how it goes. And then you tighten that down one real tight, and then you're gonna put this one on afterwards. You can dab a little bit of blue Loctite. That's helpful, and you can just see, that is not going anywhere. And that's a great system by M2C. But let me show you guys how to install this. Enough waffling. If you guys wanna see how this goes on there, that's why you're watching this video. So, hey, if you like this type of content, if you like uh, installs, bench videos, if you like uh, you know bashing, we try to bash it pretty hard over here at Three Sons RC, uh, check out our videos, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, props to Mitch Looper and the team over there. But hey, let's get going with this install. Let's do this, guys. Now, what do you need for this install? You obviously need the hex extenders. Make sure you get four of them. You need a torch, red Loctite, pliers, and obviously your hex tools. Now the first thing we're gonna do is hit up this hex with a lot of heat, because you know Arma loves their red Loctite. It should take about like 10 seconds or so, and if it doesn't work, doesn't break free, you don't feel it like giving it all, you wanna go ahead and back off and hit it up again. You don't wanna strip that grub out. Feel it start to give. puppy out and this is usually pretty hot at this point slide that one back on make sure to match up those holes nice and toasty Off camera, I clean this up with some brake cleaner. You want to use red. She 
is installed now. Now it is recommended you're gonna tighten this one down. Then you can use some blue Loctite on top of this one. She is. Show you the difference real quick between the one millimeter that comes on the new Mojave EXB, that's the one millimeter, and this is the two millimeter offset with the M2C. You can see how it just comes out more and that protects it from rubbing. Here's another angle. You can see how much longer it is for the two bolts right there. Basically what's happened under speed and under load, this tire can start flexing and also with the heat it flexes and expands. And you can see there's just a little bit of gap right there, the one millimeter. With the Gen 1, it's actually even less. It's flush because they use the Typhon hexes in here. Um, you can see with the heat, that expands and flexes. And this plastic right here will start rubbing on this part of the hub. So on the inside of the hub, that'll rub and it'll cause the hexes on the outside to start loosening just enough that these will start twisting on the inside and can strip this out. With the M2C solution, it alleviates that issue. Now this might be a little bit less of an issue if you're running a stock BLX system, but if you're wanting torque, if you're going after horsepower, if you're bashing hard, these wheels will flex and could cause potential issues. And when you're loading up a lot of torque and heavy system, heavy duty systems in these tires, they'll flex, they'll heat up and expand and can cause some issues. I was talking to Eric, RC Dude 81 he told me that actually since he moved over to the M2C Racing Hex 2mm Extended, he's had not a single one of them come off. So props to Armour for putting out just an incredible tank vehicle in this EXB Mojave. This is such a great rig, so much strength, and just small little tweaks from M2C Racing just make it even more bulletproof. Now with one Sherlock Hex on there, it might try to loosen up on you, but with a second one on there, you want to dab a little bit of blue Loctite potential on the outside one, that thing is not going anywhere. So props to Mitch Looper at M2C Racing for putting out just a great product here. This is a must-have, I say, even before you run the truck. Uh, props to Armour, great truck. Love this EXB Mojave. This thing's great. I can't wait to bash this thing. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this type of content. And, uh, hey, we'll keep them coming for you. Let's go.